Red Wing versus Irish Setter. Six reasons to pick one over the other. So what's the difference between these two brands? Well, the short answer is that Irish Setter is for work and Red Wing is more often for fashion. Boom, video over. Nah, now nah, let's start, we'll dive a little deeper. Irish Setter and Red Wing often get mentioned in the same sentence for good reason. They're the same company. Red Wing owns both Red Wing Heritage and Irish Setter. Both are boot companies and fun fact, the Red Wing 875, the orange Mokto here, was created in the 1950s under the Irish Setter family name. So they are original Irish Setter boots. But what's the difference today? Well, if you've come here from just like your suggested feed on YouTube or something, you might already know the difference, but this video I made for people uh, who are searching for the difference between Red Wing and Irish Setter, people who aren't expert in boot brands like some of you guys are right now. One last thing before we get into it, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe and like the video, every little bit helps support the channel. I'm comparing two of the most popular and most similar boots from Irish Setter and Red Wing. This is the Red Wing Heritage Mokto, the 875, and the Irish Setter Wing Shooter ST. Note that this is not the Wing Shooter, which is more of a hunting boot, it's the Wing Shooter ST, which is specifically developed for work. Some of you might be thinking the Ashby is the most popular Irish setter boot, but this boot has more reviews than it, so I just went with this one. So what do I mean when I say Irish setter is a work boot? Well, Red Wing's Mokto was indeed a work boot in the mid 20th century. It's got a very water resistant Goodyear welt, a nice rubber midsole and leather insole and cork filling that molds to your foot and helps prevent foot pain when you're on your feet all day. The thick leather upper here is reasonably puncture resistant and it was for the mid 20th century. But technology has evolved since then, since the 1950s and shoes can have more features now. It's actually a lot like how Converse Chuck Taylors were a super popular basketball sneaker a hundred years ago, but nowadays they're more worn for casual wear and actual basketball use more high tech shoes, right? That's sort of like what happened with Red Wing and Irish Setter. I just ran over the main qualities of the Red Wing Mock. The wing shooter is different. Number one, while the mock is water resistant, the wing shooter is waterproof. The mock is water resistant enough for the average person, definitely, like stepping in puddles is no problem. But the Irish Setter has what's called an ultra dry system to keep you dry. It like combines a lining made of a synthetic membrane material with other waterproof components. The Ashby's aren't by the way, like the Ashby line of Irish Setter, uh, they are not waterproof. Number two is the Irish Setter has a safety toe, which Red Wing does not. It's not metallic though, like the Ashby's is, but it is like lightweight while being very tough. They wouldn't say exactly what it is when I called them. They just said that it passes all ASTM safety standards as well as CSA standards for select style. So it's not, nothing's gonna puncture your toe when you're wearing this toe. Number three, this boot has HRO soles, which means they meet requirements for withstanding at least 475 degrees Fahrenheit. The crepe sole on Red Wings would probably melt or at least soften at those kind of temperatures. Number four, it meets ASTM safety standards. They're capable of withstanding the application of 18,000 volts at 60 hertz for one minute with no current flow or leakage current in excess of one milliampere under dry conditions. Number five, it has a polyurethane footbed and in general, it has a shorter break-in than the Red Wings, which is a brand famous for their tough break-ins. And number six, the wing shooter is almost hundred bucks cheaper at $195 versus about $280. And they're sold in more places as well. Red Wing Heritage is usually sold in Red Wing stores and online. Irish setters are distributed to like outdoor big box, farm and ranch branded and other locations. So if you actually need footwear to meet ASTM or HRO standards, or you need a safety toe, you wanna go with Irish setter boots. But there are still reasons some might prefer Red Wing Heritage. Number one, Red Wing Heritage, I mean, it looks a lot better. As a casual boot to wear with jeans or out in the town, it's much lower profile. It doesn't have that waterproof membrane that increases the bulk of it. Plus the leather like just like looks better and ages better in my opinion. Number two, Red Wing has a wider range of colors and leathers available because of course it's more of a fashion boot. Number three, on the note about the waterproof membrane, it's worth emphasizing that the Red Wing Heritage boot breathes much better because the upper is just unlined leather. So if you have sweaty feet, that might make you worry about getting a fully waterproof boot. Of course, if you need waterproof, you need waterproof, right? Number four, the Red Wing Heritage boot, the leather footbed is more durable on the mock than the removable polyurethane one on the wing shooter, which will eventually need replacing. Number five, as to why you might prefer the Heritage boot, the leather is higher quality on Red Wing. While the wing shooters might be waterproof, it's embossed with this grainy pattern and it's not guaranteed to be made with leather from SB Foot Tanning. That's a tannery that Red Wing owns in Minnesota and which produces all the leather for the Heritage line. 
And on that note, number six, uh, the Irish setter is not made in America. It's made in Vietnam. This one is made in America. The Ashby's are also made there too, the uh, Irish setter Ashby's. So if you like the Red Wing brand because of that old fashioned Americana ethos, that might put you off. And then you consider it the most important difference between the two, in fact. Red Wing Heritage made in America, Irish setter is made in Asia. Usually Vietnam, sometimes China, Cambodia. So that's it. Both boots are superb, but for vastly different reasons. Which one is right for you depends completely on what you want from a boot. And that's my video on Red Wing versus Irish Setter. Pretty quick, six important differences between the two. Make sure you subscribe, I think I already said that, but subscribe, I got a lot more videos on uh, heritage boots and uh, nice leather goods and also salvage denim and jackets and that kind of stuff as well coming up. So uh, yeah, stick around and uh, let me know which of these you prefer and why.